The easiest decision you'll make all week is to shop Kohl's this weekend because Kohl's will give you tax break savings with an extra 10% off and an extra $10 off your purchase of $25 or more. Everyone gets Kohl's cash too. Plus, shop late Friday or early Saturday and take an extra 15% off jeans for the family. Already on sale. Stack the savings and save even more this weekend at Kohl's. Select styles offer valid 11-4 through 11-6. Some exclusions apply. See store or for details. Blog Talk Radio. Good afternoon. Thank you for tuning in to The Awakening with Katina Love. Today is Sunday, July 19th, 2015. I am your host, Katina Love, and your spiritual and wellness coach. My website is Lotus Life Healing. Dot com, L-O-T-U-S-L-I-F-E-H-E-A-L-I-N-G.com. Connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Katina, K-A-T-I-N-A, dot love, L-O-V-E, eight, the number eight. If someone you know would like to be a guest on the show, or if you want to share your insight, um, how to improve this show, please let us know. I would love to talk to you. This show is a platform for all higher consciousness healers. And if you're an undercover light worker or spiritual healer, shaman, etc., this is the perfect show to be a guest on. Also, if you have any questions, or if you want to hear a certain topic, please let us know. We would love to hear from you. We're going to open up the line towards the end of the show so that you are free to express yourself. Or if you want to send an email, you can send me an email to lotuslife8 at yahoo.com, L-O-T-U-S-L-I-S-E, the number 8, at yahoo.com. The topic of today's show is manifesting your desires. We live in a world of creation and attraction, and we are co-creators with the universe. Everything we think, speak, and act upon is creating our present and future experience in any given moment. Now, I want you to think about that for a moment. Now, take a moment and take some deep breaths. And just start to visualize how you want your life to be, the health that you desire, the healthy weight that you desire. Where would you like to travel? Your finances, your life's purpose, your career, your family, your perfect relationship with your life's partner, all of your relationships with others and with yourself. This show is designed to be a guide to help you with retraining the way that you think, to think more things that you want to manifest, the things that you desire versus thinking the things that you don't want. Your thoughts are things, and you want to focus on the things that you desire and take your mind off the things that you don't want. That's the key. We have a returning guest, Cherise Fox, or She Rises, who is an intuitive spiritual life coach and a Reiki master. She and I will be sharing tools today tips, and techniques to help you manifest your desires. Sharice, thank you so much for being a guest on the show today. How are you? Thank you so much, Katina. I am so excited to join you today, and I want to say thank you to all the wonderful listeners and supporters of the show, whether you're listening live, Mm -hmm. if you're listening to, if you listen to this in the archives, we really we are really excited to have you here. We appreciate you. And, hey, the dynamic mm-hmm. duo is back. How is that? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Absolutely. 
<laughs> we had so much fun doing this show, part one last week, and we just yes. had to come back to part two. <laughs> and yes, we just yes. want to we just want to pick up from where we left off at. And before we get started, we had a question um, that a guest had who listened to the show. And did you want to share that, Cherie? I do, I do. It's a really great question, and I love great questions. And just a reminder to everyone, you know, if there is something that you want to discuss, something that you want us to cover, anything you have questions about, please feel free to reach out to us, and we'll be happy to address it on the show. And so this particular question, it comes from Maria in Houston, and here's what Maria Mm -hmm. has to say. I don't believe that good things will come from positive thoughts. In my experience, when I think something good will happen, it turns out bad. But when I think negatively about a situation, it turns out good. Therefore, I'm afraid to think positively because I'm scared it won't turn out good. So how do I move beyond this? And that's a really great Mm -hmm. question. And so what are your thoughts on that, Katina? Well, my thoughts are to let go of the fear, number one, just let go. Just free yourself, just release the fear. And to kind of just take some baby steps and start thinking positive thoughts about positive things. You can even start out with an affirmation, such as things are always working out for me. It's a real simple in general affirmation and just kind of get in the space where you get in that mindset that things are always working out for you. They, it's just it's just the way it is. Things are always working out for me. I would start there and to also keep in mind the things that you want to manifest. Whatever it is that you want to manifest, take that one thing, something small to begin with, and just kind of play with it, experiment with it. It could be a certain book that you want or a cup of coffee. You know, just play with it and just say, put that in your mind and just watch someone come and bless you with those items. I would start out small that way. What do you suggest? Well, you know what, that's that's great what you're saying. It's, it's wonderful because it really is about starting out small when you're on the journey, mm-hmm. especially when you're in that place. And this is what I hear from Maria. What I hear is I must be fearful for things to work out. I hear that that is the belief that she has. And so really that's the law of attraction working. So if that Mm -hmm. is what she believes, then that's why she's experiencing it that way. And so I'll say this, the mind, the the best way that I can think of, uh, the simplest way I can put it would be, to think of the mind like a cassette tape. And I know I'm dating myself mm-hmm. here with cassette tape, um, but <laughs> with a cassette tape, <laughs> you can. <laughs> you remember those, like the cassette tape. Oh, so yeah. The way, the way they work, basically, is you can tape over them. So, basically, you can tape something, and if you change your mind about what it is that's on that tape, there's no erase button. What you have to do is tape okay. over it. And so that's how the right. mind is. So in Maria's case, basically, she has a tape that's running that's saying, I must be feel fearful for things to work out for me. And so right. what she would have to do is tape over that. And so it's exactly right. what you said with affirmations, making small little steps um, in order to do that. And the thing is, it takes time. It takes time if you mm-hmm. have... Have that belief, if you're holding a belief for years and years and years, that's created a pattern. And so in order to break that pattern, you have to take these steps. And that's why we're doing this show, to talk about the Mm -hmm. different tools that you can use. Like you said, what we're doing is we're retraining our brains because you have to do that in order to manifest. So that's like the first step. And it is to look at, yeah. well, what are my beliefs and how can I change them? So basically, you're, it's, I agree with what you're saying, affirmations, mantras. Oh, and you know what? I want to say this. Mm-hmm. 
and and you tell me what you think about this because uh, I know Reiki is something that's very powerful. It's energy work. It's something that I've done on clients that experience anxiety or or mm-hmm. depression. It helps to move that energy, but also essential oils. And I know you yes. have a great understanding of oils, but I think that's a good tool too. What do you think? Absolutely. Totally. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and just do a recap from last week. We covered guided meditations in last week's session uh, and knowing exactly what you want, thinking positive thoughts and speaking positive affirmations. That's very powerful, very key. We just talked about that. Keeping it to yourself is your secret. And then we left off at clearing your mind and the environment from clutter. So if you want to hear what I just mentioned, you can listen to the archive, Manifesting Your Desires, um, part one, on blogtalkradio.com forward slash Katina Love. And just look through the archives. It's very near the top. Manifesting Your Desires, Part 1. So we're going to go ahead and talk about clearing your mind and environment from clutter. We left off there last week. Did you have any last thoughts from that, Cherise, from last week? Well, you know, I think that, again, clearing your mind and your environment are so important. And, again, just Mm -hmm. the tips, the, the tools that we've been sharing so far are great. Like uh, another great way to help gain clarity is through meditation. And Mm -hmm. that's for your mind. It helps to gain gain clarity. And you can actually, guided meditations are really good, especially if Mm -hmm. you have trouble with quieting your mind. Then guided meditations are really good. And there's so much information out there if you go to brainsync.com. They have some really great meditations that you can can play for yourself, and you can fall asleep mm-hmm. with them, and they help to retrain right. your brain. So that helps to, to clear the mind. And, again, you know, we talked about clearing your environment, getting rid of the things that you don't need, physical right. things, you know, people, absolutely. stuff. <laughs> so, yes, yes that, that's another great tool. So, again, what we're yes. talking about, in order to manifest, these are, are the steps that are so important in order to get to where you want to go and create the life and the things that you want to have in your experience. It's important to do that. Absolutely. I'm glad you said clearing your environment because we want to clean our home environment, our yes. work <laughs> environment, and and our environment in our cars. We want to clean our cars out. Keep oh, clean. yes, yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> yes. Yes. Clear of clutter. <laughs> if you got stuff, if, and if you're a girl, you're a woman, we have girl stuff in our cars. So keep it in the trunk. Right, <laughs> keep it out of sight, not of mind, unless you need it, like, Unless you need a yes. right like keep it keep things organized. Exactly. Get you some little totes, some little exactly. baskets. You can organize your stuff. Yes, yes. And organization. Clean out key. your yes. Clean out your closets. I was talking about last week how I keep a bag now in my closet in my bedroom because I'm right. gonna find something that I can give away. And sure enough, I just <laughs> found another book that I have put okay. in my bag, and I'm going to take it over, walk it over to the Goodwill oh, because great. it's in walking distance. <laughs> okay, wonderful. I'm just releasing, releasing the things I no longer need than things that I've graduated from. I also have some uh, cards that I've graduated from, daily guidance from your angels, oracle cards, during virtues cards. I've had them for a number okay. of years, and they have blessed me and helped me to grow, but now it's time to move on to something else. So I'm going to let go of these cards, too. I might put them on well, eBay. I might put them on Amazon. Well, you so, know what? The thought just came to me, Katina. Yes. Mm-hmm. Why don't you, maybe you could give them away to a listener on the show. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Just a thought. So there's someone listening. <laughs> someone's listening, 
and they they're interested in angel cards. These are some oracle cards. You have to be open to that. Uh, Doreen Virtue, she's I follow her, and she has a number of angel cards and different type of oracle cards out in the market. And she has so many books, too, that has helped me on my journey, Doreen Virtue. So there it is. If someone's interested, just send me an email, lotuslife8 at yahoo.com. And so okay. now, I'm, yeah, any other thoughts? For you? Well, actually, I'm getting all excited. I'm getting excited. So I I'm, I want to give away something too, Katina. <laughs> okay. What would you like to give away? So I actually have an extra. I have soul cards, soul oracle cards by Sonia Choquette. And it's okay. about lessons and soul purpose. So I have an extra deck. Wow. Of, of soul cards. So. Yes, if you're interested, then reach out to to us, and it'll be mm-hmm. my free gift to you. So awesome. That's awesome. Beautiful. Okay, so did you want to share your email? And I know you're going to uh, share your other e- uh, information at the end of the show, too. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I'm saying I'm giving something away and not sharing my information. Okay, so you can reach me. You can visit my website at SheRiseCoaching.com, or you can send me an email at the shifter at SheRiseCoaching.com. You can ask to leave, follow me on Twitter as well at SheRiseCoaching.com. So just send, send me an email, or you can make a comment about the show and send it that way to Katina either way. Um, I'll be more than happy to to send you the free gift. Awesome. Oh, wonderful. So now we're going to move on to creating and utilizing vision boards and slideshows and journals and scripting. So that's that's gonna that's gonna be a lot. I mean, because I have so many ideas. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you want to start? <laughs> I, I will let you start and see. You know what? Okay. You are you are the tech savvy, tech savvy one of the two of us, <laughs> and so I know you're really big on the slideshows. I'm like really old school. Give me a poster board with some glue, and that's how I do my vision board. So, okay, you, you can go ahead Super. and start. You can start. <laughs> sure. Okay, so this is what I do, and I actually teach a class, a webinar about visioning, having a vision board. I call it the Vision Slideshow Webinar. So I, this is what I do. I'm very visual. I like to see pictures digitally because um, I do recommend both. I recommend having a vision slideshow using PowerPoint, and also I recommend having a physical uh, vision board like you paste in your bedroom wall or your living room or whatever. Um, so with the vision slideshow, um, I, I can find pictures really easily online. I just go to Google.com and just pick the picture I want. And the key is to type in image, whatever you want, image of a happy relationship, image of a couple doing yoga together. You have to be very specific so that the pictures come up, exactly the pictures that you want. And you can cut and paste those pictures into your side point or you can print them out and put them on your vision board so you have those options. You can type in image of money, and pictures of money will come up, picture of things that you want, picture of a car you want, picture of 2008 BMW or 2015 Mercedes, black Mercedes or black Jaguar or white Jaguar or or orange Jaguar, (laughs) whatever type of car you want. Uh, whatever that image is, image is, imagery is very important when you want to manifest. So you want to get those pictures and, and look at those pictures every day because when you do that, you are painting a picture in your mind and you're projecting that out to the universe so the universe can help to bring those things to pass so that they can manifest. So did you want to share some uh, ideas, Sharice, about uh, the board? Uh, Yes, I do, and I agree with you about how powerful images are. They are so very mm-hmm. powerful. And so for me, I I use, I go and I get magazines, and I use a poster mm-hmm. board. And so I cut out the images from magazines 
that that I want to attract into my experience, and I put them on a board. And I'm really creative, and, and I've done this with friends before. It's, it's, let it be a fun exercise. I think it's great that you do a workshop yes. on it, Katina, yes. because it's really fun when you do it as a group because you get to be playful with it. You know, and that's the yes. thing about manifesting is learning how to be playful. And so I got together with a group of friends, the last vision board that I created, and we just had so much fun. And we shared, we all brought magazines, and we sat down at the table, and we just cut pictures out, and we created our vision boards. And we talked about what we wanted to create into our experience. And the great thing about right. that is it brings about the feeling. Because when you take the image and then you add the feeling with it, it anchors it. Yes. And that's what yes. brings it into your experience when you can actually feel it. So, for instance, if you want to manifest a particular car, then go and mm-hmm. test drive that vehicle that you want to bring into your experience so you can get the feeling of what it's like yes. to ride that vehicle, to be in that vehicle. So feelings are so important to to yes. attach those to the image, and that is very, very powerful. And Absolutely. Playful. I, I totally agree. <laughs> yeah. It, it, all, all this is fun. It's all fun. And like I was saying um, earlier about the caller from last week who had a question, you want to play with this. This is, this is playful. Exactly. This is fun. That's the most yeah. important thing of this is is you want to have fun along the way. Have fun on the journey. Don't be like, oh, yeah. I don't have a check. Do not do not do that. Don't go there and be like you. Because if you put that in your vibration, I don't have it yet, you're going to continue to attract not having it yet. Exactly. So you want to say, you want exactly. to get in that feeling. So that's why you want to start off small. A cup of coffee. Right. Tea. Exactly. I, was, I just celebrated my birthday on, on July 17th. And I was at Barnes & Noble, and I had my little seven-year-old nephew with me, and we were just having a good time. We had a little table. And I was just thinking to myself, I'm like, I want some tea. And I was just thinking of just sitting there talking to him, you know, looking at books and stuff. And then I saw this woman that I had met there before, and I told her it was my birthday. And she was like, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, that's great. What can I treat you to? She's like, you want some cake? You want some tea? You want this? I was like, I'll have some tea. So I just manifested within minutes a cup of tea that I wanted. Yes, It's yes. that simple. yes. You want to play right. with this. Test it out, right. and you will prove to yourself that this does work. It works. And, it, it's and real. it builds confidence, right? When you start to see the little things come, it builds your confidence. And and Absolutely. another thing, too, is to not be attached to it. You know, to, yes. it's just like you said, okay, you thought to yourself, I would like some tea. So it was kind of just like a mm-hmm. thought. You weren't really attached to it like, oh, my gosh, I really need some tea. What am I going to do if I don't get this tea? (laughs) It was just in a relaxed (laughs) way, like, wow, you know what? I really like some tea. And then you let it go. Right. And and that's how it is. And I know it it can be difficult when it's something you really, really want. Say it's a relationship or say it's money. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying Mm -hmm. that this is is will be easy, especially when you're not in the vibration of it. It's really right. about working your way through it to get to that place. It is a journey. And so it's just right. taking your time. Like you said earlier, baby steps. Baby steps, that's yes. what it takes because you have to work with your mind to change the way you think to get to the place where you have more confidence and you begin to see when you start to see it, the universe, and I always say this, which is so wonderful, the universe always shows up and shows out. So it will yeah. bring something to you in a way where you can't help but recognize that it, it really is a divine working of the universe. And it's it's about being committed to your journey and, and yeah. staying the course even when you don't feel like it, even when you don't believe it's. It, the point is you're working to train yourself to believe. So you want to make yes. sure that you continue saying your affirmations. You don't have to believe them in the beginning. You're training your brain to believe them. So 
You're not expected right. to believe them in the beginning. It's it's really about learning to get yourself to that place to shift yourself into that space. Absolutely. Absolutely. So if there's anyone on the call who has a question, please let us know. And I'm looking, I'm in my studio online. I'm looking for hands. If I don't see anyone, if I don't see any hands raised, I'm just going to proceed. Okay, nobody's responded. So we're just going to move along here. So okay. we're, it's five minutes too. We have to end the show in five minutes. So what I'm going to do now, um, we're going to go ahead and do a part three. <laughs> and we're going to cover in the next session how journaling and scripting can be beneficial, taking guided action, and then we're going to also share some of our own experiences of things that we've manifested in our lives. But right now awesome. what I want to do is, um, yeah, I want to share from my uh, Vortex card. Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. It's a deck of 60 relationship cards getting into the vortex. And this one is what stood out to me today. The front of the card, it says, and these cards are very helpful tools. This is a tool that you can, that can, you can use. And I love these cards. I love the pictures on them. They're very graphic and they're very encouraging. So in the front of the card, it says, that which is like unto itself is drawn. That which is like unto itself is drawn. So you attract what you are. You attract what you think about. You, you attract what you are and you attract what you think about. So whatever you're giving your thoughts to right now in this moment is what you're attracting more of, whether it's positive or negative. And then the back of the card it says, Everything that you perceive is vibration, and the life you are living is your vibrational interpretation. The powerful law of attraction is at the root of everything you experience, and the never-changing, always accurate premise of this law is that which is like unto itself is drawn. When you give your thought to something, you begin to uh, the attraction process of the essence of that subject into your life experience. Once you have activated a thought vibration within yourself by giving attention to the subject, the progression of the expansion occurs. This is from Abraham. So these cards are very powerful. So did you hear that message? It's true. It's real. And Abraham has helped me so much on my journey. If you want to hear any of their meditations, any of their inspirations and affirmations, just visit YouTube.com and type in Abraham Hicks. And whatever subject that you're interested in, if you want to manifest, relationships, career, life purpose, well-being, health and wellness, whatever it is that you need help in manifesting, you can you can type that in in the search bar and all types of videos will come up. And whatever resonates with you, you can use the, these as tools. So those are just a few tools. Did you have any tools that you wanted to share, Cherie? Um, I do. And actually, I love Abraham Hicks. It's, it's really powerful information. And they have some really uh, wonderful tools available for you for free. There's there's a lot of information out there, and that's that's the beautiful thing is that there's a lot of resources available about this subject where you don't really have to to make a large investment in order to learn more. Now, one I I will recommend this book. It's called Excuse Me, Your Life Is Waiting, and it's about the astonishing power of feelings, and it's by Lynn Grabhorn, and this is a really great book. Um, as, and it really it piggybacks on Abraham Hicks, the author. She's no longer with us, but basically she wrote this book from those teachings, and it's a way that explains vibration and energy in such a simple way and a humorous way 
that is really easy to to understand. So I recommend that for anyone that is new to this information and wants and wants to know more. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. So you have some tools at your fingertips that we've given you. We encourage you to take advantage of those and just get in that vibration and teach yourself. Teach yourself to manifestation. How about that? Thank you for tuning in to The Awakening with Katina Love and our guest today, Sharice Fox. I can be reached on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash katina.love8. And, Sharice, would you like to give your contact on Facebook? And actually, yes, I can, well, you can reach me at my website, SheRiseCoaching.com, or on Facebook, she Rise. And thanks, everyone, for listening. We appreciate your support. Thank you, and namaste. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. Like Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to Geico.com and you can save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your mood. The holidays can get a little competitive. Whose house is covered in the most decorative lights? Whose sweater is the most festive? Whose gingerbread house is eaten the fastest? Whose gift is most thoughtful? Well, there's one part of the holidays that's not a competition, and that's who brings you those gifts. Because at the United States Postal Service, we deliver more online purchases to homes than anyone else in the country. That's right, anyone, even you-know-who. Ho, ho, ho! The United States Postal Service. Priority, you. Priority, you.